Hey saddle hunters, thanks for tuning in to watch another video. In this video we're going to talk all about am steel attachment methods for your climbing sticks or your platform. Last year I did a similar video where I compared tethered versa straps with tethered versa links or am steel daisy chains. Well in today's video we're going to look at a couple other options. We're going to compare am steel daisy chains with am steel rope mods of two different sizes and am steel whoopee slings. They each have some pros, they each have some cons. Hopefully one of them will be a good fit for your preferences and for your hunting style. We're gonna start off by looking at the Amsteel Daisy Chain. I'm gonna show you how all of these kind of attachment methods also wrap around the stick and kind of how they, you know, pack in, so to speak. Let me mention before we get started and put this on the tree that every one of these Amsteel attachment methods is made by the Amsteel guy and you can pick them up either from his Etsy page or from Eastern Woods Outdoors and I'm going to put links to them below but they're all really really high quality and he's a great guy to work with so I would recommend you guys jump on Eastern Woods Outdoors and pick yourself up whatever one you prefer from the Amsteel guy. So here is an Amsteel daisy chain on this Hawk Helium. You can see it just wraps around very nicely. It's, it's very compact. doesn't take up hardly any space at all. So let me just show you here how this attaches to the tree. One of the nice things that the Amsteel guy does is include a bungee at the end of every one of these attachment methods. And so that just makes it really handy when you go to attach your stick to the tree. But all you're gonna do to attach an Amsteel daisy chain is stake your stick, put it on the tree, run it around and most people are familiar with these but it's just a series of loops you're going to find the loop that's closest to your stick or versa button on your stick you're going to loop it over and you're going to set it now you'll notice there the you know loops are only in you know every couple inches and so sometimes it's not in the exact right spot one of the cons to this attachment method is that you can have a lot of kind of sag in the stick. The biggest plus I think to this is that it's really fast to hang on the tree. I mean you're done and nothing flat. Now let me show you a little trick that I've learned to kind of help take the slack out if you're really in between loops. What you can do you and let me mention here too you want to make sure that before you hang it you've got the strap going basically as horizontal as possible. That helps cut down on the amount of sag that you'll have. But one of the things you can do if you're kind of in between loops, which you can see I am right here, is you can take your stick and you can bend it sideways and angle the button toward the back loop, loop it over, and then make sure your top standoff is against the tree. And you just kind of pull it around, get it into position, and seat it. And, and it'll be a lot more secure, seats a lot better with a lot less sag. So that's a good option if you have a long stick. I'm gonna show you this now on a mini shikar as well. This stick's about 24 inches. A mini shikar is half that distance and you can't really you know, do that angled trick with some of these shorter sticks. So let me show you that now. All right, here's the mini shikar. You can see obviously it's a much shorter stick. I wanna give you just one click quick pointer. When you go to attach these to your sticks, instead of just looping it over your Versa button like that, if you loop it over itself and create kind of a girth hitch and then put it over, it will hold a lot, lot tighter. So let me show you this. Same thing up against the tree. Get it kind of firm and in place. Got my strap hung up here. There we go. Go around the tree to the middle. Now, you can see once again I'm hitting right between loops. So if I go to that bigger loop, there's just a lot of sag down to get it on there. But with this shorter stick, I can't really get it angled far enough. And I think part of this is also due to those steeper, taller standoffs. I just can't pivot the stick far enough that way to get it to, uh, you know, to go onto the button. So in my opinion, Amsteel daisy chains work great for kind of standard and longer sticks. And they're not great for, for some of these sticks that have really deep standoffs or for short sticks. But our next option I think is, is really good on small sticks. So let me jump on, we're gonna throw a couple rope mods on here and show you how well those work with these smaller sticks. 
All right, so here's the Mini Shikar with a rope mod. Now these are full berry rope mods and this particular one we're looking at first is an eighth of an inch. So a little bit smaller, we're also gonna look at a quarter. But it packs up, packs up very well. I'll show you how the quarters pack just because they're a little bit bulkier. But this, you're basically gonna put it on the tree like we did before. You run your rope mod around behind the tree. Now, you wanna make sure that you go under the button and under this side of the rope. You don't wanna go over. The reason for that is that when you go under and this stick starts to seat, what happens is this rope gets pinched between the shaft of the stick and this side and tightens up kind of like a Chinese finger trap, all right? So you just go underneath, pull it as tight as you can, go back the other way, pull it as tight as you can. Now, there's a couple of different ways to finish it. I'll show you one of them here and then I'll show you another way with the larger rope mod. But with this smaller one, I like to go back behind the main line and keeping my tension on it, just kind of kind of cinch it up in there, kind of Chinese finger trap it again. And then I throw, you can throw one or two half hitches in it just to kind of keep it, keep it from uh, slipping out of there. The second half hitch, I like to pull through like in a loop just so it's easier to release. And then I can set the stick. And now that's really solid. So one of the advantages of this is you, you, it's not length specific. You know, you're not looking for a specific loop to get it in. You just pull it around, get it tight and set it. Not a ton of sag with these because it's tighter, I guess. You do get a little bit more bark noise, I think, than, than maybe the Amsteel Daisy Chains. But one of the cons, I think, to this is that it takes longer to tie, I guess. It's just longer to, to put on the tree and it takes longer to to undo it than the Amsteel or the Whoopi Sling. Let me show you how to take it off. You're gonna pull it and it pops right off that first hitch. Gotta work the, the second hitch through there. Take your kind of finger trap out and around and, and it's off the tree. So just a little bit uh, more time consuming than the other method. So that's the 1 8 inch, works really well with this Shikar stick. Let me show you the quarter inch rope mod now. So here's the quarter inch rope mod. As you can see, this is a lot thicker and it's a lot heavier. He's got a nice berry on the end there just to give it a little bit of heft so that when you throw it around the tree, of all of them, this passes around big trees better than, than anything else. So same idea here, stick against the tree. I like to hold it with my chest, throw my rope around. You're gonna go same way, you wanna make sure that it's as flat and horizontal as possible. You're gonna go underneath, pull it tight, pull it this way. Now, I, some people like to go behind, which I showed you before, and make a second stitch and do their hitches on the opposite side, which is another legitimate option, probably just a little bit more secure set your stick you can hear that bark bark noise that i was talking about but good option it's a tight option the pro is that it's easy to pass around the tree once again the con especially with this knot is that it just takes a little bit more to get off and one thing i've noticed is that if it cinches down against the shaft of the stick it kind of slips around the edge that can be really uh, give you fits sometimes coming off of there but just a matter of being patient, taking your time, and that's all there is to it. So let me show you kind of how this wraps up on the stick to give you an idea of the bulk. I like to just pass it around my standoffs, loop the bungee up. So you can see it sticks out to the side a little bit, obviously bulkier than the other options we've looked at, but still allows these sticks in particular to stack on top of one another. So. Those are the Amsteel rope mods. Let's jump in. I'll show you how the whoopee sling works now. Hey everybody. The last Amsteel attachment method I wanted to show to you was the whoopee sling. And I took it off the stick because not everybody's familiar with a whoopee sling and how they work. So let me show you. The basic construction here, you have one end with a small loop. This is gonna go around your Versa post. Then you have, that feeds into a constrictor section. 
Coming out the back side of the constrictor section, you have an adjustable knot, a very, very large knot, and this can adjust down as, as tight as possible or become several feet in length. The only other piece to this is kind of the tag end that lets you adjust the size of this larger loop. To shorten this larger loop, you're gonna pull on this end of the tag on the constrictor. If you want to make it larger, you're gonna pull the tag from the opposite side of the constrictor, just like that. So that's all there is to the whoopee sling. Let me throw this on the stick. We'll give you an idea how to use it on the tree. So once again, I've just girth hitched it on there. This is probably a little trickier method than some of the other ones, so I just want to give you some tips. The first tip is make sure your loop is long enough to go around the tree. If it's too short to start off, it's kind of a pain to adjust when you're climbing and got your lineman belt on. So I'm just going to set the stick on that tree like that, hold it there with my chest, pass the, the looped end around. Once again, make sure it's going horizontal. And you can see I've left just, just a bit too much. So. To take care of that, I'm just going to grab this tag end here and pull it out. And you can see I can shorten it to just about going right over the post. So all I'd have to do is set this stick now, loop it over, and I can seat it. Now you can see there, it worked easy enough, but it settled a pretty decent amount. Let me show you now another way that you can set this that's just easier and much more secure. So once again, I'm just going to set my stick against the tree and I'm going to bring my loop toward the Versa button. What I want to do instead of just looping it over and pulling the slack out is pull the slack out and make it just too short. So just short of the Versa button. And then we're going to do basically what we did with the amp steel. We're going to tilt the stick sideways, loop it through there, make sure my top standoff's on the tree, spin it around and set it. And in my experience, that sets a lot more solid and it holds very, very secure. I think there's two positives to this method. One, it can be very fast both to put on and to put off. Two, you can get it very solid. I mean, you can take as much slack out of there as possible. And then when you tilt it, it doesn't seem to sag much. And I think that's due to the fact that because there's two pieces of am steel going around the tree, you have double the friction on the bark. So it doesn't sag as much. And I think it holds very, very securely. Let me take the stick off and show you the biggest downfall to this method. When I go to take it off, it's easy enough. I just pick it up, tilt it over and it pops off. The tough thing about these is how do you manage them? Because you have that long tag end and that long loop. And I can just basically take this and wrap it around my standoffs. The problem there becomes, I basically get that one section that just kind of hangs around. Now you can kind of just wrap it up and for the most part it'll stay put, but some guys might not like that. There's an easier way to kind of pack it up for transport and that is to pull all the length out of that large loop. So basically undo it there, find the large loop, pull everything out. So now I've just got that little bitty hanging there, no big deal. I can go around the stick, wrap it up. See this is really long. And now I'm good to go. You can see how you know much space it takes up. I would say it's comparable to the quarter inch rope mod. Downside to that is if you do that particular way, then when you get to the tree, you have to unpack the whole thing. So I've got to unwrap it all, which you have to do with any method. So that's not that big a deal. But then what's kind of a hassle is I have to find the end of this where that little bead is, and I have to pull this loop back open to a the approximate size of the tree I'm going to use. So there's just an, an extra step if you do it that way. So I would say the biggest downside of the whoopee sling is managing all that extra am steel, but it's a very secure method and it might just be the ticket for some of you guys. So those are the three am steel attachment methods. There's one other cool am steel product I want to show to you from the am steel guy, and that's what I've got here on the end of my stick. This is called a D2 Aider. It's basically a two foot long piece of am steel with loops on each end. And I'm using it for two purposes. One, you can girth hitch it around your stick and then just wrap it a few times. And then I go over the top twice, pull the loop up. And now I've got a great way to hang my stick from my saddle. I can just put a Kydex clip on my saddle, hang this, carry my sticks up the tree. 
The other neat thing about having it attached to your stick is that let's say you're hunting, you go up a big tree, you get up there, you find your platform strap won't fit around, or your climbing stick attachment method for that matter. This can be used as an extension. So you're just gonna take it off, and now you've got two looped ends, girth hitch one around the loop of your strap, put this end around your platform post, and you can get around most any tree in the woods. So these are really helpful, handy tools to have just on your saddle. They can be used for a bunch of different things, and I'd recommend you guys just pick a couple up and keep them on you. So I hope this video has been helpful. At the end of the day, when you're just trying to decide which one of these attachment methods to go with, you've got to think about your hunting style and your preferences. Some people want to hook their stooks up as fast as possible. One of these options is going to work best. Other people have problems with kickouts. Some of these are more solid to prevent kickouts. You're just gonna have to decide which one's best for you because they all work great. And at the end of the day, I think they're all good, viable options. So I hope this video is helpful to you and just gives you enough information to make an educated decision. Once again, thanks for watching the Saddle Hunting Channel here on YouTube. I hope you guys have a great fall.